Publishers Weekly called him an untrammeled renegade genius. He took his vows as a poet at 19. And fast forward 60 years, the man died at his writing desk, pen in hand, writing a poem. My name's Joseph Bednarik. I'm the co-publisher here at Copper Canyon Press. And I also had the great good fortune of working as the poetry editor for Jim Harrison. I discovered Jim's work when I was 21. Berkeley, California, walked into a used bookstore, uh, had read a novel or two of his, and actually found his selected poems, a paperback. And it just blew my doors wide open. Why not admit totally what we are rather than pretending that we're something else? Jim Harrison never pretended he was something else. He started his writing career as a poet in rural Michigan and became without question one of America's beloved writers, successful in multiple genres, a passionate fan base. By the late 90s, most of Jim's poetry books had slipped out of print. He was invited to come to Copper Canyon Press with the collected poems. Jim wanted to find a home for his poetry, um, where it would be respected, where it would be well designed. The books would be beautiful. It would be edited with sensitivity. There would be fierce copy editing. And most importantly for Jim, he wanted his poetry books to stay in print. And finding new readers for Jim Harrison's work is uh, one of the great joys of being a publisher. When Jim died in 2016, we started to think into what we could do as a publisher to help secure in advance the legacy of Jim Harrison as a poet. And that's really where the birth of Heart's work came in. So I'd like to ask you from the bottom of my Heart's work heart to join us. So please be generous, please help spread the word, and we'll see you in print.